Hello, hello, and I'm Lauren. And I'm Eliza. Here's what's happening at HMS. The second annual Husky Howl is on October 30th from 7 to 10. Please come in costume, if you dare. But no face paint or masks will be allowed. Red Ribbon Week starts Monday with Pajama Day. Follow your dreams and not drugs. A Hillwood team is participating in the Walk to End Alzheimer's this Saturday. The walk starts at 9 a.m. at Trinity Park. If you participate, you will receive a homework pass or a pass for an off day in PE or athletics. Here's what else is happening at HMS. Let's go back, let's go back, let's go way on the way back when. I didn't even know you, you couldn't have been too much more than 10. Welcome to Back in the Day Friday with Old Man Nevin. So, Old Man Nevin, what do you have for us today? Well, I've got an authentic Back in the Day item, Driggsy. Uh, how old are you? I'm 14, Old Man Nevin. Well, this is from way, way back in the day, way farther back in the day than your day. What do you think that is? Is it a car phone? Yeah, it's a car phone. Drink it. Hello, Mom, Grandma. No, it's not a car phone. Try again. Dingle hopper. Ding, that's not even a real back in the day item. Now you're just throwing stuff out there. What would you say if I told you you could watch a movie on this device right here? I would say all your old years from experience is getting to you. You probably would say that, Drizzy, but you've been wrong. So, this is a video home system cassette. That's authentic, all right. It's authentic. Uh, go ahead and uh, go ahead and check one out. See, see what you think. Look at all the authentic dust on it. <laughs> back in right. the day. <laughs> That's dust from back in my day, uh, Driggsy. So you can actually watch movies on this. How do you think? Uh, how do you think it works? You slide this into a laptop. Slide it into a laptop. Good Lord, son, how are you going to get this thing into this thing? That's not going to work. No, you don't use a laptop. You know what you do use? What do you use? I'll tell you what you use, Drixie. A video home cassette recorder. And how do you use it's that? A, well, it's a player, too. And so you slide it in. You've got this device. It's about yay high, about the size of a Buick, weighs about the size of a Mack truck, about the weight of a Mack truck. You slide it in, you hit the play, and then all of a sudden on your television screen, you know what television is? Yes, I know what television is. Yeah, but you is. still got television, but back in the day, you slide this in the VCR, you put play, and you've got, you've got a movie. We didn't have our Netflix and our tablets. You know what a tablet was back in my day? No Netflix! No Netflix. You know what a tablet was back in the day, Drixie? What was a tablet? One it of those was a big on? piece of stone. And you got another piece of stone, and you carve stuff on it, you got some hieroglyphics, and that's your movie. Mmm, sounds delightful. I wish I was back in the day. So, I'll just show you a little bit how this, uh, how this works here. What happens is the system, it just, it just, uh, that pops great. it open, yeah, pops it open right here. And there's a little tape. You see the uh, see the tape there. Yeah, I so see. So it's it. gonna pull the tape out. Um, this one's broken, so we can't find the tape because you know things back in the day they don't always uh, they don't always stick around. So the system pulls the tape through. The tape goes into the video cassette recorder. It's a magnetic tape. And movies are printed on this magnetic tape, and it pops up on your TV. What are on these tapes? Can you read, kid? Game six, final cheers, clapped and unplugged, and Woodstock. So, uh, Woodstock, you ever heard of Woodstock? No. Woodstock is a town up in New York. It's also a famous rock concert. Way back in 1969, famous rock concert. I've got it right here on this tape. We can watch it anytime we want. That's the beauty of the VCR. You record it, you watch it whenever you want. We didn't have the DVRs, we didn't have the fancy things. If we wanted to see something again, we had to record it. Eric Clapton, Unplugged on MTV. You ever heard of MTV? Yes, I've heard of MTV. Yeah, well now they show stupid people doing stupid stuff. But back in my day, they actually showed music videos, and you could see people like Eric Clapton playing actual music. It used to be called music television. Now it's just called stupid people doing stupid stuff. 
Uh, game six. You ever seen Game Six? I have never seen Game Six. Game Six, 1986 World Series. Drigsy, Bill Buckner, ball through the legs. Mookie Wilson scoring. Boston Red Sox not winning the World Series again. This was back when the curse of the Bambino was still in effect. Oh my and goodness! And last but not least, final cheers. You ever watch a TV show? Yes, I watch TV shows All on right. Netflix. TV show, yeah, no Netflix back there. So if I ever want to watch the final episode of Cheers, you know what I have to do? What do you have to do? If I ever want to see it again after it airs, I've got to go up to that VCR. I got to put my tape in. I got to wait till the show starts. I'm sitting there. I'm waiting. I'm ready. As soon as it starts, boom, hit the button. Show starts to tape. You know when the last time I saw the final episode of MASH was, kid? When was the final? Uh, 1960s, 1950s? 1982, and that's the last time I saw it, because we didn't have a VCR yet. By the time Cheers came out, had the VCR, hit play, and right here, Shelley Long, Ted Danson, Woody Harrelson, we can watch them anytime we want. But you had to be there. You had to be ready to hit that button. You're not ready, you don't hit the button in time, no show, you never see it again. Man. Your life must have been bad back in the day. Well, thanks for joining us on Back in the Day with Old Man Nevitt. What an experience. If you have a question about how things were back in the day, email us. No, no, we're not email. This is Back in the Day Friday, Drixie. Don't send us an email on Back in the Day Friday. Get out a stamp, get a letter, lick it, stick it on, and send it to us at Back in the Day Friday. P.O. Box 211, Second Floor, West Hallway, HMS, Fort Worth, Texas, USA. And we'll answer your questions right here on Back in the Day Friday. So, we'll see you next time, Back in the Day. Let's go back, let's go back, let's go way on the way back when. I didn't even know you, you couldn't have been too much more than ten. In June 1944, they were 10, 20, or 50 years old. Their names were John, Winston, Violette, Edward, Dwight. They were from 12 different nations. But that summer, they united to liberate Europe. That summer, Together with hundreds of thousands of men and women, they wrote one of the most important pages of history. Let's remember those who gave everything that summer in Normandy for our liberty. D-Day, Normandy, 1944. Hey everybody, I'm Mrs. Koch, the choir teacher. We have a very exciting announcement this Friday. If you want to know what musical we're doing this spring at Hillwood Middle School, come to the cafeteria this Friday 8.20 a.m. and Coach John and I are going to announce the musical. I hope you can come. Yeah, I hope I can come, but yeah. you know, since I'm president, can't you just tell me a little bit ahead of schedule? No, I can't tell anybody, Renee. I mean, oh, it's like oh, we want everybody to find out at the same time. Well, can't you whisper it? They don't have to know. No, I don't think so. Sorry, you're going to have to wait like everyone else, Renee. You think you're so special. I do. I am. Tell me. Ah! <laughs>
Hello, Hillwood. This is Coach John. I just wanted to take this time to personally invite you out this Thursday and Friday night, 7.30 p.m., to come see Small Actors. It's going to be a great show. It's $3 for students and $5 for adults. Each night when you come to pay for your ticket to get in, there'll be little slips of paper on the table, and you fill one out, and we're going to put it into a box, and we're going to draw two names out each night, and those kids whose names we draw get a sonic drink the following Wednesday. Another thing you can do is if you're participating in the fundraiser, you can bring your box of chocolate and sell your chocolate to the people outside who are waiting to get into the play or the people after the play. Uh, there's not going to be any concession stands. You can you can sell them chocolate for your fundraiser. Sell boxes and boxes of chocolate. Again, the, the play is this Thursday night and Friday night at 730 p.m. and then on Saturday we have a 2.30 afternoon performance. Come every day, sign up for a sonic drink, sell your chocolate, and watch a great play by the Hillwood Drama Department. See you guys there. Hey Huskies, we're having a selfie contest for Red Ribbon Week. Take a picture of you and your friends doing activities showing why you're drug free. For example, sports. The most creative picture wins a prize and send it to the email hmsannouncements at colorisd.net. Be creative, Huskies. Hello, Huskies. This week during lunch, Duco members will award tickets to students who are dressing up for Red Ribbon Week. The tickets can be alternative for daily drawings for gift cards. The tickets can also be turned in during the pep rally for a grand prize. Good luck, Huskies, and remember to always be drug free. Hey, Huskies. A door decorating contest is happening at Hillwood. It has to be finished by the 29th, and on the following are judging criteria to be judged on the 30th. Quality of construction. How neat is the overall decoration? Creativity. Several graphics or objects used on the door reflect expectation or degree or creativity. Design. To what extent are the graphics appropriately sized and arranged well? Attention to the theme. How well does your door promote on awareness for being drug free? Remember, the winning advisory gets sonic drinks and the winning teacher of the advisory gets a free lunch. Get decorating. <laughs> Making your way in the world today takes everything you've got. Taking a break from all your worries sure would help a lot. Wouldn't you like to get away? Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. And they're always glad you came. Troubles are wrong.